He was hairy. He was scary. He was very, very tall. And each night he ate his fill among the men of Herat Hall. Herat Hall was traced by Hrothgar, he who ruled her all this land. And to his hall he gathered all the men he could command. He assembled all the heroes, and they drank a lot of mead. And just when they got to boasting, that's when Grendel came to feed. He was hairy, he was scary, he was very, very tall, and each night he ate his fill among the men of Herod Hall. Beowulf heard of this monster, asked permission of his liege to take his longboat o'er to Denmark, sure that he could lift the siege. Beowulf that Grendel monster ripped his arm off in a fight. Grendel staggered home to mommy where he died later that night. He was hairy, he was scary, he was very, very tall. And each night he ate his fill among the men of Herat Hall. In that mead hall back in Denmark, hanging high upon a hook, is the arm of Monster Grendel. Stop down by and take a look. Grendel's mother came to Herat, Grendel's arm to take back home. Beo chased her there and slew her in her cave beneath the foam. She was hairier, she was scarier, she was ugly, she was mean, and that flaming lake she lived in was a phosphorescent green. Beowulf, though he is king now, his heroics won't give up, fights a dragon, falls beneath it, cause his kinsman stole a cup. Wiglaf comes to Beo's side when Beo's shield burns away. Wiglaf cries when Beo dies, then he writes down this tragic lay. He was harish, he was scarish, he was farish, farish tall, and he snicked he at his fill among the men of Herod Hall.